All right, it's been on the list for years, and now I'm finally looking into it. First of all, is the show Japanese or is it American? Apparently, it's both. Generally, the monster scenes were shot in Japan, while the scenes with the teenagers were in the United States. That makes enough sense. But wait, the Japanese footage was recycled from a completely separate show called Super Sentai. The plot thickens. So, there's two different shows, both coexisting and both still going on to this very day. Does that mean I have to watch Super Sentai also? Um, absolutely. Oh man, now there's two shows I want to watch. I feel like my responsibility just doubled. I feel like I gave birth to twins. Oh, wait, Super Sentai began in 1975 and it's still going on to this very day? They've been making episodes consistently for the past 42 years. I'm gonna die. The basic concept of Super Sentai is a team of ordinary humans are transformed into superheroes. They wear color-coded costumes and save the Earth from evil monsters. This description naturally sounds like Power Rangers, but it also sounds like Kamen Rider, which is from the same creator. Basically, if you have a bunch of people in motorcycle suits flipping around in the air with explosions, lasers, and sparks shooting all over, you know the deal. The deal is, it's fucking awesome. Ever seen Spectre Man? Dude, that shit is crazy. How about the Toei Spider-Man? Yeah, it's Spider-Man with giant robots. Then there's Ultraman, which is pretty much where it all started. That was 1966, and the Ultra series is still going on today also. It was created by A.G. Superaya, the special effects pioneer who we have to thank for making Godzilla. Godzilla once fought alongside an Ultraman-type character called Jet Jaguar, and Godzilla appeared in many Zone Fighter episodes, along with other characters from the Godzilla franchise, including Guy Gannon and King Ghidorah, the same Japanese superhero genre which spawned Power Rangers is intertwined with the Godzilla franchise. And if we haven't opened up a big enough can of worms already, these franchises fall under the umbrella term tokusatsu. This is a mother genre which generally includes any films that rely heavily on special effects, such as giant monster movies of course, which I've always known as daikaiju films. Then you have human-sized monster films like The Manster, superhero series like Super Sentai, space films like Green Slime, mecha series which are about giant robots controlled by people like Gunhead, the giant robo series, and even this crosses over into the Godzilla franchise with characters such as Mecha Godzilla and Mecha Ghidra. And then you take it a step further with Combiner Robots, which plays a big part in Power Rangers. It's robots that come together to form bigger robots like Voltron and Transformers. And now we're getting into animation! Anime! Holy fuck!